Has there been like a moment for you that you're like blown away? I changed somebody's life in a certain way. I mean, those moments, I feel like they, they come silently. Like you really have to look out for them. But I think there were a few times where after the Olympics, I'd be doing a meet and greet. And I remember like a Hispanic family walked over to me and they were like, you know, our daughter didn't think that she could do gymnastics or any sport for that matter. But ever since she saw a girl with curly hair like hers, she wanted to do gymnastics just like you. And so she started. And stories like that, I like I was just doing a sport that I genuinely loved and a sport that I was fond of and I didn't realize the impact that I would have had afterwards so to look at your team you had Gabby who was African-American you're Hispanic you had a little bit of everything diversity was such an important message in addition to the achievements mm -hmm. it's pretty cool that little girls can look at you guys and say there's a Hispanic girl mm -hmm. there's a black girl it's pretty cool yeah I think um representation matters so it's important that little kids can look at the screen and say like oh I can do it like she looks like me and I I didn't realize it until I was older, but growing up, there were no Hispanic gymnasts that I could watch and really look after. There was a gymnast named Maddie Larson, and I was admiring her curls because she had curls like mine, and there wasn't very many gymnasts who had that. And so being able to be a U.S.-born Hispanic who went to the Olympics, it's it's been about a little over 30 years since that's happened. And I didn't know that until I was out there. So, yay! <laughs> All the things! <laughs>